Believe it or not, I have had caffeine. So it is rare on my channel that I can do like full face of new makeup kind of videos because I am on a low buy. So if I'm buying makeup, I'm buying like one piece at a time. I'm not going out and being like, okay, I'm gonna get a foundation, a concealer, etc. But because of the most recent trip that I went on, the Creators and Friends trip, and we were gifted a whole bunch of makeup, I have something from like every single category. So many of these, like I haven't even tried yet, guys. I mean, there are certain things that I'm <laughs> excited to try. Everything that I use is gonna be linked down below, but all of this is stuff that we either received on the trip or I'm using one that I already had. So like, for example, the concealer is one that I already had and was already using, but I did receive a backup on the trip. So things like that. So you might see it like very used. But let's get into it, I'm really excited. I think my eye look is gonna wind up being very colorful and very sparkly, and I'm very excited about the base. Because I'm all about a base, about a base. So I'm torn with whether to start with the eyes or the skin first. I always start with the skin, and you know what? That's where I feel best, so I'm still gonna start with the skin. This brand was not on the trip, this is not a new item, but it is what I like to use as my base, the Auric Glow Lust. All right, now that that is on and I have a sufficiently glowy base, what I'm going to be using for my foundation, I did use this in a recent video and I've talked about it a couple times, but I'm still in love with it and it's something we received on the trip. I'm going to be using my Salt New York foundation, okay? So this is the Sneaky Balm. This is my shade right here. I also in my palette have a concealer, a blush, and a highlighter. I believe I'm just using the foundation today. I might wind up using the highlighter. But the way that I've been enjoying applying this, I'm also gonna be using my new Sigma brushes. So this is the Sigma F48, the soft coverage brush. The way I've been liking to apply this is I take it on my finger and do a couple of swipes. Like, I don't know why I feel like this has been my method of choice. Maybe it's that it, my hands like warm it up. And then I go ahead and I buff it in. A lot of times I'm sort of pressing it in at first just to get that coverage. And then to blend it out, I softly blend it out. <laughs> These brushes are really, really nice, by the way. This is only like my second or third time using this brush in particular, but it is so soft, but it has a denseness to it, which is really nice. And when I want more coverage, I actually dab directly into the palette and apply that where I need more coverage. And I do one half of my face at a time with this, just so I can really get it to the coverage level I like. So you can still see that incredible glow coming through. I've been absolutely just adoring this foundation. It feels like skincare to me. If you are somebody who enjoys a lighter coverage, I highly suggest trying these. And also these pans are each only $16 to refill. So you could put these in any magnetic palette, but I highly recommend this like leatherette one. It is so beautiful. I also particularly love this foundation over the Auric Glow Lust because it really brings out that glow and you can still see like my freckles and you can see like sunspots, which is how I kind of like my skin to be. This is real cute. <laughs> now for my concealer, I am going to be using the Sigma Spectrum Color Correcting Duo. I know I've talked about this ad nauseum and mine is very well loved. Very thankful, very thankful that I got a backup of this. I'm gonna be using the Soft Angled Concealer Brush, which is the F72, correct? Yeah. So I have been kind of dabbling back and forth between both of the colors lately and using that just under my eyes. I love this so much. If you like a creamy concealer, like a really creamy one, I highly suggest this one. It blends like a freaking dream and you can get anywhere from like a light to I'd say like a medium full coverage. You're not gonna get full, full matte concealer coverage, but I don't know. I think it does like a great job like of looking just nice and dewy and pretty. Now to set, I am using a lot of Sigma products for my base, but the rest of the stuff is mostly like indie brands, to be honest. I'm gonna try this. So this is the Sigma Soft Focus Setting Powder in Vanilla Bean. I haven't even tried this yet, so there's probably even gonna be like a sticker or something on. Stickers are the enemies of people with nails. So I don't use a whole lot of powder, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit, a very little bit into lid. Uh, the shade I have is Vanilla Bean. I'm just gonna use this other brush. So this is the F08 Precision Powder Brush. Tapping off the excess, I really just want to use this under my eyes. That's the only place I really wanna set right now. Let's see. 
So that's nice. Um, it's definitely more of a matte finish, which I usually prefer to keep everything dewy, but if we're being honest, a matte finish is usually going to last a lot longer. It feels nice and kind of, I guess I'd say silky. By the way, out of all the new Sigma brushes, this one is definitely my favorite, the Precision Powder. It's got an angle to it, but it is very dense and all of these are incredibly, incredibly soft. So they feel good as I'm applying makeup. Actually, that did do a nice job because I still have the glow where I need it, but I, this takes away some of that initial shine. Like even just there, it took away a good amount. We'll see how it does like by the end of the video, but right now I'm impressed. Now, is there any creasing? A tiny bit, but I say this in every video, I have creases under my eyes. So short of getting filler, no makeup product is going to erase my creases. So do I want to do bronzer next? Yeah, you know what? I think I'll do some bronzer. Let's try this one. Um, so there were only five brushes and I want to try them all. This is the soft angled cheek brush. This is the F43. The Sigma bronzer that they gave me was in the shade medium, which later on this summer, it'll be great for me. But right now I'm still light. So I'm using the Sigma bronzer in light and I'm only dabbing a little bit and I'm gonna tap off a lot of the excess. I'm gonna use this sort of as a bronzer, just right in the hollows of my cheeks and blend it up a bit. I do enjoy this bronzer. I think it's like not too orangey. I think it looks nice and warm. Like I need to blend it out a bit more, but I'm trying, I still have so much product. I forgot that this goes a long way. This, these brushes feel so soft. Oh, that looks so nice. These feel, easy. They're easy to work with, so I enjoy that. Okay, so for the eyes, first of all, let me prime. This did not come in our bags, but it is something I love. I've talked about it. Pretty much the only eyeshadow base primer I'm using right now, and it is called the Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer. The shade that I have is Persuade. I have heard really good things about the shade Ignite. I have not tried it. This definitely has like a very light pinky tone to it, you can see, but like I feel like these hold on eyeshadow so nicely. And I always blend these out with my finger and make sure to blend all the way out. So you can see it really just cancels out any darkness or redness that's usually on my eyelids. Okay, eyeshadow time, eyeshadow time. Now I know a lot of you in my haul video said you wanted to see me use the Sigma Cool Naturals palette, which is coming out, I believe it's May 2nd. I'm not using that yet because that, I wanna do a dedicated video just to that palette because it looks so incredibly beautiful, I can't stand it. But these are shadows that I have been waiting to try on my eyeballs for literal years. And I cannot wait any longer. I wanna try some from Cleona. They did give us each nine shadows from their stained glass collection. So I know I wanna use one of the, at least one to two of these, but that was very dramatic. But for my crease and everything like that, I know that people love to use uh, sparkly shadows in their crease. I prefer a matte shadow in my crease. So I want to use one of these two palettes from Fantasy Cosmetica. I'm really leaning towards this one. Guys, when I swatched this, this is the Druid palette. I was blown away by how much I liked the color story because when I looked at this, I was like, oh, that's really pretty but I couldn't really visualize the whole color story until I did the swatches. And here, I'll put the swatches right here so you can see. Don't these somehow just all go together and look so earthy and beautiful? And it's like the perfect mix of mattes, shimmers, duochromes. I am in love. So I'm pretty sure this is the one I'm gonna use. You know what? You know what I wanna do? I haven't done it in a minute. I wanna do a Linda Green Eye. So I think I'm going to put sage into my crease and then do a couple of these greens. Like maybe I'll put this one on the inner corner because that one definitely shifts yellow. Let's see if I can hold it. This one on the inner corner and this one on the rest of the lid because that one is a beautiful gold green that shifts to like purpley pink. Mm, I'm excited. God, I hope this looks good. Okay, I'm going in with the Moda BMX 4, uh, 430 crease brush and I'm gonna dip into sage. So again, this is the Druid palette, this color. This is a Linda color, this like baby puke. And for this, I'm kind of gently going to put this all in the crease. I'm gonna take this kind of far out too. I could have 90 of this exact shade in my collection and be completely fine with it. Also, I have to show off this t-shirt that I bought when I was in New Orleans. So there's a store, like the last time I went there, I went in this store too and I loved it. And it's right in the French Quarter and it's called Culture Vulture and culture is spelled with a K. And they have literally just like rock and metal and, you know, punk 
uh, t-shirts and things like that, accessories. So I got this. I love it so much. I love it so, so freaking much. Um, I was trying to explain <laughs> to a lot of the women there who Susie was. Um, but if we're being honest, guys, I was definitely, if you couldn't tell, one of the oldest people there. So I'm not sure if that had something to do with it. But like, I don't think that a lot of the people knew who this was. Not like Susie was, you know, a uh, main person in the 80s. It's not like they would know her over Madonna or something like that. But she was She's punk rock. I love Susie. Oh my God, I totally forgot to do something. I'm gonna do it now though. I wanna moisturize my lips while I'm doing my eyes. So I have used this already. This is the City Lips. Technically it's called the Night Oil, but it's a really moisturizing lip treatment. Like I really enjoyed it. It smells like lemons and it's kind of thick if we're being honest. So it's best for nighttime, but I'm just gonna let it soak in while I do my makeup. God, it feels good though. I like the way this feels, but I'm gonna let that just soak in while I'm doing my makeup. I'm going in with the Moda BMX 466 Shade Brush, and I'm gonna dip into Forest, which is this really deep kind of teal color. And I'm just gonna pack that on the outer edge for now, just right on the outer corner. And also I might bring this into the crease just a bit, but I really want this to be deep. So I'm gonna really pack this on. I almost wonder if I need a deeper shade than this for, no, actually it's building up nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and take that deep teal and kind of push it right along this lower lash line just on the edges, just whatever was left on my brush. Guys, Fantasy Cosmetica, I keep saying this, but please don't sleep on this brand. The quality is so, so, so good. Look at this beautiful color in the top center. Like, do you see how reflective it is? It's so gorgeous. Oh, can't handle it. Okay, I'm very excited slash mildly nervous about trying these Cleona shadows. So I just moved them around. The two shades I'm gonna use, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, are Dias, it is D-A-I-S, and Electron. Now, they say that they highly recommend the glitter glue, and I get that because they are crumbly. And I'm not necessarily saying that in a bad way, but the thing is, the shadows are quite crumbly in general. So. I'm applying glitter glue kind of generously on my lid. I'm gonna do one eye at a time and I wanna start with Electron. Now I'm not gonna hold these up past this because I don't want them to get crumbly. But again, I'm gonna start with that and then go in with this one. I'm pressing very gently into the shadow. Look at that, very gently into the shadow and it still looks gorgeous. Let's see what a difference glitter glue is making. You guys, when I did the swatches of this, I was worried because like I did them over bare skin with my bare finger and it was going everywhere. My whole bathroom was covered in sparkles and so was I and I have little to no fallout because I've used this glitter glue. I am so happy. Okay good. <laughs> I'm even going in with a touch more glitter glue just to like really ramp up that effect on the middle of the lid and now I'm going in with that deeper color again barely touching it barely touching it and all the pigment is coming up is so beautiful. Oh my, oh. I was almost nervous about this because I've wanted to try their shadows for so long and I was like, what if they suck? And they do not, oh my, how did they do this? My eyelids look wet. Look at that, my eyelids look legitimately wet. Okay, I do wanna to touch up the dark uh, forest color by Fantasy Cosmetica just a little bit, just kind of help this blend. Oh, there we go, there we go. Now, I do have a little bit of glitter fallout here. I really do, but this is nothing. I just put, did you see me put eyeshadow on my face just there? What? But this is nothing compared to what it looked like before. I will say that, like, this is easy to take off with scotch tape before there was no going back. So I'm gonna go in pieces again. I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter glue just on this inner corner to start and dip into the dias color. Again, I barely touch it into the shadow and that's what comes up. Oh God. Yeah, this shadow definitely wants a glitter glue. So I'm using NYX glitter glue and it's going on beautifully. Now a little bit more of the glitter glue and into Electron. These shadows are so delicate. This color, this color is so stunning. Guys, I'm really, really happy right now. You know what I'm gonna do? I wanna bring that color out more 
and also in more. Like I want this to be a little more dramatic like this. And then I'm going back in with more sage to blend that out. Okay, I think I should have done my eyes first, if I'm being honest, because I do have quite a bit of fallout. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna take a makeup wipe and clean this up a bit and then redo my concealer and powder. Now I will say, by the way, the powder is not creasing any more than it was, which is a plus for me. So I'm gonna redo that and I'll be right back. Okay, I think this is very much gonna be a trust the process look because I feel like it needs something and I'm hoping that this does it. So this is the Surat, what is this called? This is the Graphique Liner, I believe, right? It has no sticker on it. It has no label at all. I believe that this is called the Graphique Liner and it is so cool because you like pop in a little, here, actually look, as I'm showing you, it's an ink cartridge, sort of like a, a ballpoint pen almost, but you just pop the lid off and it's got a brush tip. So I am going to do a wing. One thing I will say about this liner, and you're either gonna like this or you're gonna hate it, is that it is a wet formula. I like that. I prefer a more wet formula when it comes to my liquid liners. I don't like it to be too dry. This is a very big wing today. Okay, we're going like going big or go home, but I really like this formula. Okay, let's go in with blush. So I think the color I want to try, so this, we didn't get that many blushes, and the one that I did get in salt, my Salt New York palette, I don't feel like using today. I want something more glowy. So I'm gonna try another of these Kaja blushes. This shade, it's Peach Cobbler, and it is just a pure, like, peachy pink. Can I use any of the brushes for this? You know, I'm gonna wipe the bronzer off of my brush. Um, as always, I'm using my Sigma Switch. This is so dirty, I really need to clean that, but, I'm going to use a brush with this. I did find that I like using these more with a brush rather than like just putting the uh, stick on my cheek. I think I, I just took enough for both cheeks. Oh, these are, these are so pretty. These are very dewy blushes, but that's what I like personally. I just realized I didn't even finish the eyes, but we're gonna do that. <laughs> Cutie. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. First thing I wanna do is grab my eyelash curler. Where is it? All right, I'm going to be trying a new mascara. So this is the Beyond Mascara Volumizing Treatment. So wait a minute, is this a mascara? Because it says Beyond Mascara. No, it's definitely mascara. So the brush is very normal looking. It is a hair bristle rather than uh, a rubber one, which I prefer. Let's see if it's actually volumizing. This is a very pretty mascara. I don't know if I would categorize it as volumizing so much as like I mean, I guess it's a bit volumizing. I think when I think of volumizing, my heart always goes back to Milk uh, Kush Mascara because they give you lashes like bam, like huge. Whereas this is very pretty, but I don't know if I would call it volumizing. I want a line inside my eyes. So on my waterline, I am going to be using, did I just lose a piece? I did. A piece fell out, that makes me so sad. But I'm going to be using the Kaleidos Liner in 7Cs. This is one of my favorite ones on the bottom. And on the top, I'm using the Milk Lash, I'm sorry, the Milk Liner in Outer Space. This is just black. This one is great for tight lining though because you barely have to move and it's just on. You know what, now that I have that on, so I always do tight line with black on the upper water line because I do feel like it makes my lashes look fuller. It looks pretty volumizing now. I actually like that, but we're wearing fake lashes today, my friends. Okay, so I, I'm immediately obsessed with these. So these are the bright lashes. They are half lashes in the, not the shade, the style flutter. I've already worn these three times. Three, look, your girl's wearing fake lashes. Are you proud of me? I also went ahead and I ordered three additional pairs from Bright Lashes. Now, they're ones that I haven't used before. I did order one more pair of the flutter actually. And then I ordered two additional pairs. I really, enjoy the style of these. The lash band is nice and thin, which I like, but sturdy. Um, I actually, I always do this too, in case you didn't know. I put like a tiny dab of glue on my actual eye so it gets tacky while I'm waiting, but these have been fantastic. So easy to work with, you don't even feel them on your eye. I just spat into the camera. That was cute. 
you know, while I'm waiting for those to get tacky, I was I was going to try to use one of the new Cleona um, shades, these highlighter shades, as my highlighter. But I don't think I want a bright green highlighter today, as beautiful as these are. So I am going to use the one from Salt New York. The shade that I have is beige. And for this, I'm using my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter. This is the F03. This is just a beautiful cream highlight. It's it's very like classic looking. I feel like it really gives a nice beautiful glow. This highlighter is so pretty. It's just so lovely. And if I want it to be kicked up a notch, bam, look at that. Look at that glow. Now's the part of the show I like to call putting on lashes with fingernails. Here's the thing though, that took me like two seconds because these lashes are so good. They are so user-friendly. I love it. And also Sarah from Better Off Red is the one who taught me the trick of applying a few little dots of lash glue on your actual eyelid. And I feel like that's been a game changer. I'm going to touch up my liner on the inner corners. Boom. Done. Shut up. Shut up. Look at it. Look. All right, so I am going to go ahead and wipe off this beautiful lip oil. So we did not receive a whole lot of lip products. So we did receive this one, which is technically the Renew Lip Oil from Sigma. I love these lip oils. And I feel like they just kind of look like an uber shiny gloss. So first I'm going to line with this ColourPop liner. This shade is another round. And I just kind of do the thing where I press my lips together to blend it because I don't want it to be an intense line. Now this shade All Heart is so cute. It's kind of mauve -y, so I don't know if it'll be too cool toned for what I'm looking for, but let's see. Or if it'll be damn perfect. And here is the final look with all of the new products that I received at Creators and Friends. I lied just there. This is by far not all of the products I received, but it is a full face of new makeup. I have not been able to do, I don't know if I have ever on my channel done a full face of new makeup, but today I did. So let's go over the products. Um, the Salt New York, I'm going to try to go in order. The Salt New York stuff, I've been really, really loving this. Like I, I mentioned this before, this is the only foundation I took with me on my trip and I'm obsessed with it. Like I, I first got nervous because I was like, I feel like I'm going to go through this so fast because it's the only foundation I'm using right now but each of the pans are only $16. And I feel like even drugstore foundations are about $16 right now. So the glow that I get from this and the feel where it feels like skincare, loving it. Um, let's see, where's my, where's my concealer? The Sigma Color Correcting Duo. I absolutely adore this. This right now is my favorite concealer, hands down. I am so happy to have a backup and this goes out of stock pretty quickly when it does come back in stock. If you're looking for a new concealer, I highly recommend this, but when you see it like up here on the site, snag it as soon as you can. Again, I'm gonna put details of everything down below. I do have a discount affiliate code with Sigma. So if you wanna purchase using that, get yourself a little bit of a discount. Um, so the other face products, were they all Sigma? I think so. The bronzer, I already knew that I loved this. I will say this is one of those products where a little bit goes a very long way, but I love the warmth that it gives my face without, looking orange because you know a lot of bronzers look orange. I'm kind of impressed with this powder. What is this called again? The Soft Focus Setting Powder. You guys know I'm not a powder girly, but like I feel like it did a really nice job on my under eyes and around my nose. Like it doesn't look powdery. My pores don't look enlarged, not enlarged, but they don't look more prominent. So far, so good. It's only the first time I've used it, but I am enjoying it. What other face pro Okay, so I mean, I guess I need to mention these as well, the soft coverage face brushes. My hair is going crazy. These soft coverage face brushes, I've used all of them, except I have not used the soft sculpt yet. These others, I really, really, really like these as face brushes. These are so nice. This angled cheek brush, I wound up using for bronzer and blush, love it. This is definitely my favorite one though, the uh, precision powder that has that angle to it. They're beautiful. Let's move on to, well, I guess if we're still talking about face, this is not new. This is, well, it's new to me, but it's not Creators and Friends new. The Kaja Dewy Stick Dewy Bar in this one's Peach Cobbler. I love this color. This is my jam. 
for the eyes. Okay, let's start with the Druid palette. It's beautiful. Like, right? It is so beautiful. And those, like, mattes, look, they went on like butter. They really, really did. They are just stunning. I am so happy this didn't let me down, okay? I'm still going to be very gentle with this palette. I do feel you need to have kids' gloves on when you're handling these eyeshadows. They do, like, if you press your brush into it too hard, it's going to crumble. If you press your finger into it too hard, it's going to crumble. So be gentle with these. But they are so freaking beautiful. Again, I use these two at the bottom. I can't get over the sparkle on my eyes. Look at this. I'm just going to do this for you. But they're so freaking pretty. I want to fill this whole palette. I'm going to fill this whole palette. As far as the other new stuff, oh, the mascara. I actually wound up really liking it. So it was one of those things when I first put it on, I was like, this is nice, but it's just kind of there. No, this I think is beautiful and it doesn't feel crunchy, which is nice. I feel like I've been trying a few mascaras lately that felt crunchy. This feels like it moisturized my lashes a little bit. So I'm really impressed so far. The Surratt liner, I've only used this, I think, two or three times. I'm really liking it. Again, it is a more wet formula. I feel like that I need to keep saying that. So if you're used to using maybe like a liner in a pot, like a cake liner or something like that, or a gel liner, you might not like this as much because it's a more wet formula. But for me, I feel like that makes it so that I can create straight lines better. Look at that. Like that's one of the better wings I've done in a long time. I'm kind of pumped with it. These lashes... I'm sold, I adore, I love, I stan. I love these so much. So these, again, are the Flutter Lashes by The Bright Lashes. These are fantastic. They are $12 a pair, which I don't think is bad for what they are. These are like really high quality. God, I can't stop staring at them. And actually, I'm very impressed, very happy with the Renew Lip Oil, the Sigma in All Heart. I thought this was gonna be way too like cool tone, like it almost has a purple tint, but once it's on, it's perfect. Oof, my lips look juicy. So that is it. Let me know what you think of this look. Let me know if you would pick any of these things up. Again, if I have any discount codes that can save you guys a bit of money, I'm going to put it in the description box down below. But that is it. If you liked this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Do whatever you need to do. It's just a nice way of helping out my channel, and I'm so appreciative. You all can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always, and forever, you are super freaking rock stars, and I love you so much with my whole heart. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!